Hello, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I have a fun project tutorial for you guys. I am making Easter treats for my co-workers and this is what I'm creating. It is a milk carton. I folded that up and then I put a shaker on the front of it. And I haven't finished mine yet. I haven't decided how I'm going to seal them. But I am working on these, on putting these together. So I thought I would share with you how to make these in case you guys want to. Okay, and in case you don't have, I do have a Cricut. But I decided that I wanted to make these without the Cricut. Okay, and also I wanted to make mine a little bit um, bigger than what I was allowed with one sheet of paper. So mine are three wide by five tall. So from here to here, not counting this top part. Okay. So in order to do that, and I wanted to use my 110 pound cardstock. So that's eight and a half by 11 paper. So I had to use two sheets of paper. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But I also, in doing that and trying to figure out measurements and everything, I did create one that just used one sheet of paper. And that's this one. It was a little bit small for what I wanted, so I chose not to use it. But if anyone would like the measurements for it, just send me a message and I'll give you those ones. It's pretty easy to figure out though. So to start off, what you're going to need is two sheets of paper and they're going to be six and a half by 10, and three eighths. Okay. We're going to start off with them. You're going to score both of them exactly the same. You're going to put them in your scoreboard at the six and a half side. You're going to score at you're going to score at three and at six. Then you're going to turn it around and you're going to score it at three at eight and at nine and three quarters. That's it. You're going to do that to both of them. Okay. I've already done that to my other one in an effort to make this a quick video. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of scissors and on both of them we have on the bottom, this is the bottom, the three, the three inch squares. That's going to be our bottom. We have this little squinny, this little skinny half inch by three inch piece. We're going to remove that because we don't need it. Okay, you're going to remove that on both of them. And like that. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is glue them together. Okay, I just put glue on the half inch tab. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm making sure my half inch tab is over on the side here. So I'm going to put them together like this. Okay. All right, then we're going to work on our shaker part. I've already done it because I've already have them and so I made the measurement once and then I just traced it to keep it easy. But what I did is I just measured in how thick of a frame I wanted and my top and my bottom are a little bit thicker than my sides, but that's how I wanted it to be. So you, you make your measurements and then you're going to cut that out. I just used an exacto knife and went around it and cut it all out. Okay. And then once you have, well, let's do that real quick. That doesn't take very long. So I'm just going to go all the way around all of the edges, cut this little rectangle out. I thought about using, originally I wanted to use a die 
but I glued them together. Um, I, my other ones, the ones I was working on before, I had glued them together before I cut them out. And so I couldn't have done the die when they're together like this because my die cutting machine is too small for that. So I would have had to do it, do it to just this one piece. So you could do that before you glue them together. But I find this to be a little bit easier. Okay. So then after you do this, what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. You're going to take your piece that's going to be your decoration, your decorative paper. You're going to just kind of pin it down because you don't want it to move. And if when I didn't pin it down, it moved and then I traced it poorly. Okay, so I'm just using a little piece of washi tape and then I'm going to flip it over. So I set and centered that on there exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to draw a rectangle just like that. Then I'm going to turn it back over. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this out just like I cut this out. Okay. So I'm going to save that for later and I'm going to then go on to the next step. I have already created my shaker part because I made a mix of sequins that I wanted to use. So I had to divvy it all up. So then I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to run adhesive along the outer edges of this frame here. Just like so. Okay, and then I take this and I'm just, I try to get the sequence to the center as best I can. And then I just sort of plop it on there. I am using a cellophane bag um, that I use for packaging up embellishments and stuff. I'm just gluing it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not gonna show, it's not gonna be seen, because it's on the inside. But once you do that, then you kind of push, I'm pushing all the sequins away from the outside edges, okay? Then you take the piece that you have cut the circle out of, and you have completely covered this outside in adhesive. I covered the whole sides in adhesive and the whole top and the bottom in adhesive, and then cut out the opening, and then I'm gonna glue that on there over that. Then it's going to look something like this when it's done. Okay, I'm just gonna swap it out. So you can see I have my shaker part on there and I have my decorative frame on there. And then if I flip it over, you can see on the back side, you can't see anything. It doesn't show up. There's nothing there to make it look wrong, okay? Because you're gonna completely cover that up. And then I put my decorative pieces on all the other sides, okay? Then the next step is to crease all of your folds. So the bottoms you're going to crease up. Then you're gonna take this top part and you're gonna crease that, okay? Then I'm gonna turn it, I'm, well, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna crease this part back up like so, okay? Then I turn it over yet again. I'm gonna crease this all of these in like so and then this last half inch piece I'm going to crease in just like that and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up these last two bits just like that. Then once again, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna fold this piece over, leaving the hinge open. 
I'm going to take and apply my adhesive to that whole half inch hinge. Then I'm going to bring this part over and fold it. Get a good stick down and then I'm going to fold it another way so that I get, I know, I'm ensured that it is going to fit on there properly. So now it's adhered right here. Okay. Once you're done with that and you have a pretty good stick, you're confident that it's good and stuck down, then you're going to fold it up. This is, you're going to take your front, find your front. This piece I'm going to fold forward here. Okay. Then I'm going to take the two side pieces. I'm going to push in the top one here. Then I'm going to take a little bit of glue, put it on that piece right there, push that up. Then I'm going to take a little bit of glue, put it on this piece, push that up, and then I'm going to put it down so that my, now my front face is down. And then I'm going to put glue, a good amount of glue to the edges and everything. On the other ones, I wasn't very careful. I didn't go to the edges. I didn't, you know, make it look, I didn't make sure that it was going to hit everything because the bottom one is the one that's really going to hold it in. Then I'm going to take my bone folder. And I'm just going to run it along in there so that I can make sure that all the corners of those pieces are stuck in there, okay? Then, the trickiest part, I'm going to take my two fingers here and I'm going to push in the center like this and I'm going to pinch it together mostly on the top part, okay? And because I'm working with 110 pound cardstock, it's a little bit more difficult than it would be normally. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna pinch and push these corners in and down a little bit. Okay, so kind of like that. Then I'm gonna pinch this part and line it up and kind of wiggle the top part back and forth a little bit, which is gonna help it to stay together like that. Then what I did for mine was I just took and poked some holes in the top and I'm going to tie it with a pretty ribbon. Then I'm going to decorate these and fill it with treats for my coworkers. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and simple video. I hope that you make these and, and that you have fun doing it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Anna Marie 29 at gmail.com or leave a comment down below and I will here's another one that I made I will try to get back to you okay bye bye now